money right away here one thousand dollars to one of these teams phrase is the category for our first toss-up and here we go jesse and julie first things first that is right Woo! got a thousand dollars just like that so you can put that down for a moment and then you can tell america about yourselves Hi, Pat. I'm Jesse. This is my wife, Julie Terrell. We've been married for eight years. I was lucky enough and smart enough to marry my hairdresser, which was a really good idea. Ah. No, I'm the director of tourism for in Cache Valley, and it's great because my job means I get to tell people where to go every day. Okay. Even me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are, you are you still in the hair field? You should I am not. I am retired. I've been in the hair industry for 19 years. I miss it, but it's yeah. nice to be retired and doing our own endeavors in life now. Well, hope you win a lot of money. Huh? Thank you. Thank you, we do too. <laughs> All right, your turn. Hi, right, Pat, my name is Jordan Crosley, and this day next to me is my stunningly beautiful wife, Devin <laughs> Crosley. We're from Palmdale, California. We've okay. been married for three years. We have a beautiful daughter named Peyton. She's six months old. Okay. Well, that was that was, it was short and sweet. I like that. You're do-it-yourselfers, they tell me, right? You're we like, are, we yeah? are big do-it-yourselfers. Who does the most doing? I do the most doing, Pat. She's the brains, I'm the brawn, and, and we just get it done. It works out well. Uh, good to have you here. Uh, you too. Let's hear from you. Hi, Pat. I'm Debbie Beyer, here with my college sweetheart and husband of 42 years, Mark. We are the proud parents of two amazing and handsome sons they take after their dad, Matthew and Nathan, and a beautiful sweet daughter-in-law, Abby. Pat, we're from the Toledo area. I served in the Navy for four years as a dental assistant and coincidentally ended up marrying a dental hygienist. I did radio play-by-play -play for over two decades at the college level, and I still work in marketing at the university. You, know, you can, you, whenever anyone does that, you can always tell the voice is still there. I, you, can, you can be careful, Jim. <laughs> Got my eye on him. And thousand dollars. Maybe. We, all right, but we're not having an announcer off here. <laughs> let's let's uh, instead do another toss-up. This is worth two thousand dollars. Got those devices? There we go. Food and drink. Mark and Debbie. Grilled swordfish. Yeah, there you go. So they get the 2,000. They'll be spinning in just a moment. Let's check the puzzle first. Same name. That's the category. Keep in mind as you play. And now you can spin one of you. We'll do that. That'll be Mark. Six fifty. T. There is one T. Right there. Uh, let's buy an I. One I. How about buying an E? Well, it's just fine with me, and I think there will be three of them for you. Three ends. Pick up that gift tag, a thousand dollar gift card from C's Candies. I'm a nut guy where C's is concerned. There you go. Uh, so you have that and you have over sixteen hundred dollars cash. They're fighting over the candy. Uh, all right, what do you want to do? Take an M. Uh, let's see, two M's, yep. Jesse and Julie, your turn. Yeah, they're getting ready to make candy. Oh, oh, one more. Oh, oh, man. That was close to Jordan and Devin. Six hundred. G. There, let's see, there are three of them. Yep. close call. I think the wheel's going to get you, too. It's, it has been unrelenting here. I'm sorry. Mark and Debbie get some money back. Oh. 800. R. 
Yes, one R. I'd like to buy an A. Uh, there is an A, yeah, just that one. H. No, no H. Jesse and Julie. Let's do an L. It's a fine letter, uh, but it's not in the puzzle. And Jordan and Devin, it's your turn. Can we solve the puzzle? Yeah, we hope so. Engagement and mood ring. Yeah. <laughs> Remember mood rings? You'd put them on and they would change color if you felt like, if, it, if, if, if you were ambivalent, it turned gray. Uh, and uh, you guys uh, won $1,000, actually $2,000 for minimum. So uh, we'll give you that. A modest start. We'll be back. So the deal is there are actually two mystery wedges on the wheel. Only one has that $10,000. The other has a bankrupt. That's the mystery. Uh, living things, that's the category. There's the puzzle, and Jesse and Julie will spin. One of them will. Six fifty. T. Two T's. By an A. Uh, yeah, one A. Five hundred. S. There are two S's for you. Yeah, two thousand plus. By an E. And, yeah, three E's. Five hundred. N. No, no N. Rats. Devin Jordan, you're good. What did she say? <laughs> All right. R. Uh, let's see, one R, $3,500 for that. There are three O's. Three thousand two hundred fifty dollars, and they are. An F. Yeah, there's a wild card you can pick up. You also get an extra five hundred dollars there. I'll do that. How I salt? Oh, you'd like to go ahead. Beautiful bouquet of roses. That's correct. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you get there? $4,250. That takes you to $6,250. And I see you're modeling that wild card very nicely. <laughs> uh, we'll take a break and go back and play some more prize puzzle coming up. Story for our prize puzzle round. There is the puzzle. Jordan and Devin will start it. It's 900. An S. She'd like an S, but we can't do it, I'm afraid. Mark, Debbie. <laughs> 700. N. That we can do, yes. One N. Okay. G. Let's see, two G's. I'd like to buy an E. Three E's. Buy an I, please. Yeah, one I. All right, here we go. Five hundred. An L. Can I buy an O? <laughs> yeah, there is an L. 